What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be going over my personal list of the top five passing plays in Madden 19 as of right now. Now, starting off with a disclaimer, uh, you know, the gun tray Y flex or gun trio offset fake screen wheel would definitely be on this list. However, the only reason it's working is because the defenses don't defend it the way they're supposed to. You know, it's basically a one play touchdown against every coverage in the game. It's supposed to be getting patched. So whenever it does get patched and, you know, cover three and cover four and cover six and stuff actually defend it the way they're supposed to, it should no longer work the way that it's working. And so I'm not going to include that on this list because, you know, it shouldn't be as effective as it actually is. But as of right now, when this video comes out, it's definitely one of the more effective passing plays in Madden 19. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out. That's why it's not on the list. But starting off here. With a very simple play, I'm in the gun A slot offset formation, and the play's levels Y sale. It can be found in three different playbooks, the Patriots, Seahawks, and the generic spread playbook. Um, and, and really, I think the main thing that makes this play so good is not only the table route out the backfield by Yeldon, but that corner route by ASJ is a very rare corner route this year. A lot of corner routes have been changed to where, uh, you know, they don't cut as sharply. Uh, they don't get separation against man-to-man -man coverage. They kind of slowly develop down the field and you don't really get the same spacing as you did in years past. But as you can see, that corner route from this particular formation is very, very sharp. So that, in conjunction with the table route underneath, makes for a lethal combo, along with the backside digs, which are actually really good as, like, check down options. But as you can see, you know, just table routes just develop very quickly right there. Yeldon able to get out. The animation you get when you turn up field and racket this year is very, very good. You know, you, you, you just kind of get a little bit of a speed boost when you go towards that sideline. And so they're able to really get up field very quickly. You know, table routes weren't that fantastic last year. Right here against man-to-man -man coverage, you might be able to see that ASJ corner route try and get open against the man. So right there, he wasn't quite able to generate as much separation against a guy like Luke Keekley. You know, quickly played that well. Uh, but in most cases, that corner route is going to be able to get that separation like you saw right there. You know, a lot of corner routes just can't do that this year. They don't cut that quickly. If you try to throw it, the whoever, you know, the linebacker, cornerback, whoever's on them, is kind of draped all over them. And so this year, uh, that's really, really rare in a corner route. And so I think that makes this play very, very difficult to defend. And so not only does your opponent now have to worry about, you know, the double float on the right side, but then also it's tough containing these backside dig routes if you're not using them. You know, the, the computer just kind of doesn't play them fantastically. So even though, you know, I'm only getting 9, 10 yards right there, you know, that's backbreaking for your opponent. Whenever you're just nickel and diming them down the field on short routes, you know, I, I know for me that's very, very frustrating as a Madden player right there. You read the flat zone, the flat zone goes underneath, you hit that corner out. Like I said, very quick developing corner out. And so uh, this play, just both of the combinations between the, the right side two route flood and then the backside digs really makes it a pain in the butt to defend. And so uh, it, that's why it comes in at number five on my list. Remember, only in three playbooks, Patriots, Seahawks, and the generic spread. Now coming in at number four on my list, I have the Saints outs play from the gun Y off trio week. So basically... This play, uh, you know, it's just very, very good. You have, obviously, that table route on the left side. You'll be seeing that a lot. Uh, table routes are just very, very good. So you kind of have kind of a pseudo corner strike look on the left side with that out route. These stock out routes on both sides of the field are very, very deep. And it's nice to be able to quick snap them, especially against, you know, defenses like cover three where you can probably throw them before the flat zone defender can get out there. So you have nice, you know, flat route, out route combos on each side. And then that post route over the middle is just very, very tough to defend. You almost have to user it. It gets open against man. If you have enough time in the pocket, it'll get open against zone as well. And so this play really just hits you in a lot of different places, stresses you on the sideline and over the middle without even having to, to make any adjustments on the offensive side of the ball. So you can really just come out, quick snap this play, and kind of give your opponent you know, trouble. You know, out routes against off man-to-man -man coverage, it's going to be open every single time. You know, post route against man-to-man -man coverage, going to be open every single time right here. Step up in the pocket, bam, post route over the middle, gets open. You know, like I said, if you have enough time in the pocket, that post route's going to find open space over the middle of the field. Uh, it's, it's pretty much a guarantee. Uh, right here, you know, flat route right side, you know, 12 yards, ASJ trucks a guy, gets hit, falls forward for 15. So just a very, very tough play uh, to defend running stock. So, you know, second play in a row that really you can just come out and just snap the play as is and have a lot of success right there. Once again, post route over the middle of the field. Obviously, be careful if you're playing against a savvy opponent. You know, a lot of guys like to use it in the middle. So that's your only route over the middle. 
uh, if you're running it stock. So just be careful not to get lurked. But as you can see, just a very effective play right here. You know, try to throw the out route. That was against press man. You might not want to throw that against press man to man coverage. Uh, but obviously, you have a lot of options on any given down out of this play. Right there, you see the, the left flat come up, bite down hard on that table route. You hit the out route. That's what I was talking about. Kind of like a pseudo corner route. You're still reading the flat zone like you have in years past. So this play, just very, very tough. Uh, this formation is, is very tough this year. You'll see a lot of guys running it. I know it's probably more popular because guys like Problem and Dubby have been running it, and they stream a lot. And so it's, it's really caught on online. And I think this is the best play out of the formation. So, uh, you know, Saints outs right here. Only in the Saints playbook. Very, very good play coming in at number four on my list. So at number three here, I'm in split close pats. The play is going to be X-Drag Trail. And, you know, split close pats, obviously only in the Patriots playbook. Uh, but it's had kind of a resurgence this year, mainly because of this play. It has, you know, other plays as well. Uh, the PA, sh uh, what's it called? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank right now. PAY shot is actually also a very good play you see those deep crossing routes those are routes like out of you know pa post shot out of gun type flex that give defenses trouble pretty much no zones guard them they beat man to man well but that's kind of an accompanying play in my opinion to this play and so the way i've seen this run a lot i don't run split close pads uh, but i've been seeing this play run a lot with max protection and then you motion out this post route and snap it and you're just kind of making reads so right here you know you have some man beaters the drag's going to get open the first post is going to be open and the motioned out post usually does a decent job of also getting open against man-to-man -man coverage so you have a lot of options once again this post is really the problem uh that the the post by the tight end that's the route that gets open a lot of the times and it really draws your opponent's user attention and so uh that's just something to be aware of if you're going up against this play and if you run this play you know that's your bread and butter you want to force your opponent to respect that post route over the middle force them to be there with their user and then you can branch out and start hitting them in other areas i always think that's a great way to approach offenses you know force your opponent to user a certain route and then expand you know make them respect a certain route that you want to throw and then once they know you want to throw it well now you know where their user is going to be and you can adjust and, and start attacking elsewhere you know wherever they're leaving the hole at with their user so like you can as you can see this is a very good play right there the pressure was able to get to me uh, another way i've been seeing people run it is some people like that angle route out the backfield in my opinion i think sometimes it can be a little too slow developing it's kind of more of a deeper angle route but you know if you can get it open over the middle of the field something like that if you get good enough pass protection that can throw another wrench in your opponent's you know defensive adjustments because now not only do they have to worry about following the post route but now they have the angle route cutting in underneath it and so if you can afford enough time in the pocket if you notice your opponent's not really bringing a lot of pressure then that's definitely something you can leave out on the field uh, if your opponent is bringing a lot of pressure, I would recommend max protecting. But pretty versatile play, you know, a couple routes that make it very, very tough to defend. And, and, you know, just the formation in general is pretty tough this year, split close pats. And that's why this play, X-Drag Trail, is going to come in at number three on my list. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the top two. This one's going to be Gun Trio Falcon Dagger. And now, I referenced this play in one of my more recent videos, the Top 5 Playbooks video. And this play is in other playbooks as well, but not all of them have the delayed circle route out the backfield by the running back as you see Yeldon running in this instance so I think that route is essential for this play the other version is still very good but I think this play is is definitely better uh, this one particularly is only found in the Falcons and Cowboys playbook as far as I know and so these routes just mesh very well together so you can really you can run it stock once again or if you want a clear out route for that deep crossing route being run by Cole, you can go ahead and streak your tight end. Either way works in my opinion. Mix it up, you know, you know, just give your opponent different looks. But you'll kind of be able to see how these routes work together right there. You know, the clear out really just does a great job of pulling the zones downfield, which opens up that block and release. So it's almost like a double double hitter in the fact that not only do you have clear out routes pulling them downfield, but also it's on a delay. And so you have both of those factors resulting in, you know, your opponent's zones just being completely pulled downfield and resulting in a lot of space underneath for your running back. And so in this case, the pressure was about to get to me, but that's why you want, you know, that clear out route by your tight end. Sometimes uh, he does a great job of pulling those zones deep and, you know, that deep crossing route of uh, those deep crossing routes this year are very, very deadly. 
Obviously, a good player is going to recognize that and know that's a route that he has to watch out for. But as you can see, they do a great job against man-to-man -man coverage. That was man. They get open against zone. Pretty much no zone guards it if you have a clear-out route. So that's the route I would force your opponent to defend and try and use her. And once you know you're, you're pulling your opponent's user deep down the field, then you can open it up. You know, you can leave your, your tight end on the delay block and release and hit them. Uh, the other good thing is the routes on the left side do also a great job of pulling their zones downfield. It's a bunch of deep routes. You know, you have the deep crosser, you have a clear out on the left side by Westbrook, and then a deep dig by Lee. So those routes are also pulling their zones deep. So everything just meshes very, very well on this play, in my opinion. And so right there, I actually had the running back wide open. I kind of panicked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the blitz. Uh, but you can see just everything on this play just meshes very, very well together. Uh, it's definitely a nightmare to defend if run properly. Also, if mixed in with the other great plays in this formation, you have an inside zone. You have PA fork under, which is very, very good. You know, this is very similar to PA slot corner or playing trips tight end. That's been good forever, basically. PA shot wheels a decent play. So you have a lot of weapons out of this formation, but in my opinion, I think they all re revolve around this dagger play and uh, forcing your opponent to really respect all areas of the field and then branch out from there. So that's why, in my opinion, this play is coming in at number two on my list. And most of you guys could have probably guessed it. We're in gun tight flex for the number one spot. I made a video referencing this in my playbooks video. I made a video on how to stop it or at least try and slow it down. And it's gun tight flex PA post shot. You know, those dual crossing routes are just so tough this year. Get open against, you know, so many zones, beat man to man coverage. Uh, it's really just a nightmare to deal with. And not only that, but also a good tight flex player is not only going to make adjustments to this play to make it even tougher to defend, but also they're going to run the other good plays out of the formation. And so another play that you can just run stock, I think it's fantastic just coming out and snapping the ball. It's quick hikeable. Uh, you can really limit the amount of adjustments your opponent's able to make. Um, so in terms of just a play to revolve a scheme around in Madden 19, I don't think it gets any better than the gun tight flex PA post shot. So I'll go ahead and show you guys just a few examples here. You know, it, given enough time in the pocket, that's the thing. If, if you don't get pressure on this play or if you're not in a crazy setup that actually is able to lock up the dual crossing routes, uh, then you're going to just get dotted up and down the field. It's, it's a nightmare to defend against. And really, there's no guaranteed 100% way to defend this play without sending pressure. You know, eventually, even though those dual crossing routes, because it's impossible, zones don't guard those dual crossing routes, right? So you pretty much have to man them up. I made a video where I was cross manning them. That works most of the time, but there's still cases where even the cross man gets beat. And so in terms of locking down this play with pure coverage, it's pretty much impossible. You almost have to, if you want to lock it down consistently, send the house at your opponent and hope that they make bad reads. But and that's always like a scary way to play Madden right there. You know, the pressure was able to get to me. I had a guy wide open. I had a touchdown if the pressure doesn't get there. Uh, but right there, the pressure was able to get to me. And that's really how you have to try and defend this play. Right there, the pressure didn't get to me. Had a wide open touchdown. Bortles just made a bad throw. But as you can see, those crossing routes are just super, super tough uh, to try and defend. You have the, the drag route as a quick check down against a man blitz or any instant pressure where your opponent's not playing hard flats. Um, if they're trying to defend those deep crossing routes, a lot of people won't play hard flats. They'll try and play you know, cloud flats or curl flats. And then, you know, even those don't really slow down the crossing routes, but then that opens up the underneath stuff to ASJ. If your opponent goes to a Tampa 2, you know, you got the deep post route over the middle of the field is a Tampa 2 one play touchdown. So it's just a nightmare to defend. Like I said, when schemed around the other plays, uh, you know, it's, it's probably the best offense in Madden 19 as of right now, I would say. Um, I'm sure if you guys play online a lot, you've seen it. But, uh, you know, I don't even run tight flex, and, and I can still at least competently make some reads out of it. You know, I haven't run this play at all in Madden 19. I've only seen other people watch or other people run it, and I've had it run against me. Uh, but I can see just how effective it is and, and just how much of a nightmare it is to defend uh, when it's in a good player's hands. So that's why it comes in at number one on my list. A gun tight flex PA post shot. It is in, I believe, three playbooks. I believe it is in the Titans, the Bengals, and the Rams. Those are the three playbooks. Uh, some other playbooks also have gun tight flex. The Buccaneers comes to mind, uh, but they don't have PA post shot. So just be careful. Just because you see gun tight flex doesn't mean you have this play. It's only in the Titans, the Bengals, and the Rams. But that's going to round out my top five passing plays of Madden 19, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take it easy.